So I have a brand new rear end in my Cadillac ATS. The old one started growling, so the dealer replaced it under warranty with a brand new one. It was really quiet, and then it wasn't. So today I'm gonna swap fluid. Brand new rear end, it's got a break in. Maybe I'm hopeful that the noise in the rear end, the brand new rear end, is just metal shavings. It's just breaking stuff, and maybe that's what the cause of the noise and the lack of smoothness is. Under 50 miles an hour, the rear end's really smooth. Above 50, it starts to growl. So, I don't know, it's a long shot, but this was 18 bucks, and I had free shipping because I ordered my motorcycle oil at the same time. Let's pray this works and makes things smooth and quiet. Oh, and one more thing. I can't pull the car in the garage because the yard's covered in thick, icy snow. So I got to do it in the driveway. <laughs> so right here before you is my rear gear oil survival kit. It's in a wheelbarrow. So we're going to use this stuff. Roll it out to the driveway and get to work. Fortunately for me, it's warmed up to 20 degrees. Okay. All right, let's see what we got. I don't trust this ground, so I've got redundant jacks in place. <sighs> Removing the fill first for instruction. Yeah, we got metal. That's the upper plug. We have metal. <laughs> A little crooked here. There she goes. Man, it looks gray. It does not look healthy. What do you think? <laughs> that looks like quite a bit of sludge already. Wow. Hang on. All right. Oh, so this is the plug, the bottom plug, and it's completely saturated. How is that possible? It's a brand new rear end. Man, I guess that's break-in, right? That's why you replace the the lube. All right, well, I'm glad I'm doing this. Obviously, it needs to be done. It smells like gear oil. So whatever was in there is a different color than I'm used to seeing, but it smells like gear oil. All right, that's nice and clean. I'm just gonna go pour the other stuff back in and call it good. That is some heavy, thick lube. I don't know what kind it is, but maybe the M's oil will look the same. Ah! I almost lost my rubber gasket. <laughs> that would have been disastrous. So I'll put a little lube on the O-ring and put the plug back in. About that tight. All right, we gotta trim the top. Now let's check down below. Is it open or is there a piece of paper in there? Oh, yeah. So Amsoil tells me that this SVG, Severe Gear, Severe Gear Oil, come on, back on, is designed for this open rear end. The, uh, the all-wheel drive does not have posi. So this is what should go in there. Now I like that they put it in this flexible bag so I can squeeze it around. I'm gonna cut it about yay. Hope for the best. All right, this whole thing should go in there. So I don't spill any. What am I doing wrong? It's not coming out. Easy pack, less mess, less waste. Let's see, open. 
insert, squeeze. See, so that's what I did. All right, there was a thin, there was an additional thin membrane, clear plastic membrane. I couldn't see it and it was covering the hole, so it was sealed still. All right, going in, let's try it again. Hopefully, we can do this without spilling. Go. Oh boy, what a difference that makes. You know, like when it's open. <laughs> Less mess. Less messman. I'm getting some on my coat. You know that's gonna smell for months. Months, I say. I'm gonna try to roll it like a tube of toothpaste. Squeeze it real good. Oh yeah. All right, she's empty. Wasted. Fingers are frozen. Fingers don't work. Oh yeah, that's better. Oh. Uh, that's tight. All right, now we gotta take it back down. Let's call that good. All right, that is one very cold job that's done. I got some family visiting, so I'm gonna go inside, put my tools away, and then I'll come back around with a test drive hopefully soon. Oh, I pray it works well. You I'll know what, up. either way it had to be done. Brand new rear end, needs a lube change. You saw how much metal was in there. Had to be done. Everybody needs a knee. All right, I'm going for a ride. This is it. Oh, oh yeah. Mm, gear oil. Ice possible, drive with care. Hey, it warmed up to 23, so it wasn't too bad. This might be good for a 10th in the quarter, at least. Easy, a car length in the quarter. If anything, it puts my mind at rest knowing I did that. I was looking at new rear ends. I saw one on Amazon, 1249, 1249 bucks. I know there's cheaper prices, but you gotta pay for shipping. And after that, it's pretty much the same. Anyway, when I looked at the, uh, the warranty information on the rear end from the manufacturer, it says change the fluid after a week. <laughs> so they know you gotta change it soon. I've got, maybe 500 miles on it maybe since they put it in new and the guys on the cadillac forums they say within a thousand miles good to go they do the same with their corvettes all right so i'll be right back it's going to take me a while to get down this dirt road because i drive so slow Now the tough part is I have snow tires on and they're studded snow tires and these things growl. So it's a little more difficult to ascertain or separate sound and vibration with the snow tires on versus the summer tires. The summer tires are like a railroad car on rails, just quiet and smooth. All right, normally over 50, I'm making noise. I'm at 55. Feels really good so far. <laughs> 60 and it's still smooth and quiet oh man if this did the trick that was the best 18 bucks i've ever spent thanks for giving me the heads up amsoil and and it wasn't just amsoil and i wish i could remember his name somebody else sent me a note and said amsoil it was it was the right stuff he uses it in his car on the rear end and it's wonderful he said it was good stuff it was the right stuff to use so i did 
uh, he reinforced it for me and when he said that I went boom I'm doing it I bought it that same day I run AMS oil in my motorcycle and ever since I started doing that man does it shift better smoother quieter less vibration the thing just runs so liquid smooth I'm an AMS oil fan I always thought it was just marketing gimmick it's not it works I was actually getting really uncomfortable with point where my brain couldn't stop thinking about it um, on my way home from the dealership when I got that loud growling vibration from the rear end all I could imagine was chunks of metal in the bearings just seizing them and it's just ripping through them and I've been wanting to do this so as soon as the fluid came here today I got the trans oil to or the AMS oil today I went right out in the driveway and did it no waiting so the magnet definitely does a good job of collecting up the steel but it also indicates in less than 500 miles that was quite a bit of sludge that built up I'm on route for a lot of traffic but I've stopped slowed down accelerated a number of times and it's been smooth right at the point where I expect it to start shaking and shuddering and making that terrible noise the rear end just stays smooth and quiet I'm impressed needless to say one of the one of the reasons that I started using AMS oil on my motorcycle is because I read a scientific study where they tested different oils and it was I'll keep it simple in the end AMS oil had the highest heat and shear resistance which in a motorcycle is all I care about all those high pressures and high temperatures so I started using it night day difference over everything else I was using a rear end like this brand new especially before it's broken in makes a ton of heat I mean you could touch the case around the pinion bearing and then some rear ends burn your hand it can get that hot so if this AMS oil severe gear fluid has that same kind of heat and shear resistance it's synthetic uh, that exists in that motorcycle oil it would explain a lot I'm gonna head to the highway one last test we need to do a sustained steady state speed which is the worst for a brand new rear end you're supposed to vary your speed and this one I think is at the point where it should be safe now I'll vary my speed anyway but I want to test it under load give it a little gas back off get a little gas back off see what it does highway accelerating Definitely got a little noise in the back, but it could be my snow tires. It's still smooth. Even under acceleration, I'm not getting anything. It's just a car. It's just driving like it should. Yes. I will keep an eye on this thing, and I'll let you know if anything weird happens. If the rear end goes south, I'll let you know. Right now, I think we're in really good shape. We got the engine fixed, vacuum leak that it had, radiator fan, the front shutter's gone. Got a new rear end because the old one went out of spec and it was worn, it was bad at 40,000 miles. This one's new, it's got 500 miles on it. It was making noise. We just put AMS oil SVG in the thing. So far so good. Around 70 miles an hour, steady state driving. I'm letting the miles per hour go up and down a little bit. I'm giving it a little bit of gas, it doesn't vibrate, it doesn't shake. Now as this thing breaks in, it won't make as much heat. But sometimes when they get hot after highway, you get off the highway, it's fine. And you start going slower. And all of a sudden it makes a ton of noise. So when we get off the highway up here, that'll be our other test. Tiniest little bit right there getting some of that rear end growl littlest bit all right pomfret racetrack oh yeah that's so noticeably better more numb i like numb numb is good when you're dealing with metal on metal what a great road what a great road <laughs> the pomfret racetrack never lets you down 
car or bike. Final conclusion, the AMSOIL. Wow, what a huge win. It reduced vibration tremendously. It made a monstrous difference. I'm gonna watch it over time, see if it gets any worse. See like right there, steep hill, under load. I can still do it. I can still get a grrr out of the back end. It's not exhaust. It's just load. But it's so much better than it was. It's harder to find that spot. It's a shame that it, it even exists. That this car even makes that kind of sound or that the geometry of the design of this vehicle enhances that somehow. But I'm very happy. This is very drivable. Most people, unlike me, would probably be happy. Would never even think anything of it. But any vibration to me is not Cadillac. <laughs> it's just not. But I'm going to run with it. Uh, I'm going to highly recommend Amsoil uh, Severe Gear for your all-wheel drive differential in the rear. I'm going to hope that as I drive, it loosens, uh, it reduces heat, and it continues to smooth out. That's my hope. I'll get back to you. Hey, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thanks for following along with this project. <laughs> It's a fabulous car, but it definitely has its weak spots. I really do appreciate your feedback, your help, your words of wisdom, your experiences. All your sharing is wonderful and helps the entire ATS community. Thanks for watching. God bless you. Happy New Year. Take care of yourselves. 2021. Hopefully this year will be better than last year. God bless you. See you guys.